today we're in Olbo to see the substation for Sandbank. And with me I have Martin Sapper and uh, from the Sandbank project naturally. And uh, Martin, can you please tell us this substation we see in the back? What is it? Well, the, uh, the purpose of the substation is, uh, is to, co to collect all the power which we get from the wind and transfer it into the export cables uh, to make use of it on land. That's the main purpose of the substation on Sandbank. And how, how long are we in the process? We are. We started at about two years back in designing the substation. Uh, we've. Uh, we are now very close before loading out the substation. It's nearly uh, to be finished. Uh, so we are testing. is ongoing. Commissioning is ongoing. Now on shore, we will load it out in at about four weeks' time, and installation is scheduled to happen this year in April. So very, very soon. We're very much looking forward to it. Interesting. And can you just briefly explain to us what is on a substation? There is, uh, there is uh, two major topics is on the substation. Transformers, uh, uh, energy is transformed uh, to reduce the losses, uh, that's one of it. And the other one is we have, uh, we have gensets on the substation to provide power also to the turbines if we don't have, don't have grid connected uh, to, to the substation. So how far along is the Sandbike project, Martin? At the moment, in the, the Sandbank project as such, uh, we've just finalized the, the installation of foundation. That was a great milestone uh, for us to achieve. We've just closed out the campaign last week, two days ago. And, um, and um, we are now looking forward to have the substation installed. Uh, cable laying is uh, starting up in March again. Uh, we will uh, start installing the turbines on top of the foundations in, in, in August this year. And we are very much looking forward to feed in first time into the grid uh, by end of this year.